feature on our 906, 907, and 908M to be able to turn the float function on and off. Being able to do that is very handy when using forks if you choose to be able to need that function on it or not. In order to do that, I've already got my machine keyed on. Now I'm just going to simply lock my implements, and with a quick motion of my joystick, I can turn that float function on and off. So in order to do this, it's three times sequentially, rather quick. One, two, three. The machine flashes the float icon, indicating that it's accepted the input. Now, if I wanted to see if my machine will go into float, I unlock my implements, press and hold to go into float, and you'll note it, it doesn't happen. That is because I've turned the float function off. So now let's say it's time that I do want to be able to use float because I'm going to be back dragging or whatever I need to do with my bucket. Lock my implements again. One, two, three. The input is accepted unlock my implements. Now if I want to be able to use my float function again, press and hold it and my machine goes into float. For more tips like these, check out our YouTube channel or talk to your local cat dealer.